What are we doing? I don't know what we're doing tomorrow. Oh my god, Dad. Did you get a new one? It's a six. You got a new one. Well, no, no, that's like older. Mm -hmm. I've had it for. Six? The six is there's no such thing as a six. Yeah, it's been out for four months, five months. Black recycling. I suppose it goes in it. I suppose they're gonna put them in there. I don't know. And then it will settle out. You two look kind of weird. Well, uh, is, there, is there other ones in there? Yeah. Sure. Not the one that I put in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> only two Samantha, is Duncan tall? Is Duncan taller than you? Let's see. Back to back. Oh yeah! Look at that. He's taller. But not wiser. Oh well, but he might be smarter. Okay. <laughs> Should I? Is this a new toy? Yeah. I know. I was like, Dad, how old is this? And he goes, Do I have to talk to the camera? Do you want to like monologue? 20. <laughs> Am I ruining oh. your. Already? Uh, yeah. 22? It's becoming quite popular sport. So there was from North End, there was from Eden Island. <laughs> Um, this is a video. This is a video. Mm -hmm. Blair, you've already taken <laughs> pictures of us. Dinner's ready. <laughs> when it, dinner's there is no dinner. Or if you'd like to help oh yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Dinner's served, everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Whenever you'd like to come and help yourself. Well, I'm going to have to put my glass down somewhere to go and get dinner. That's dangerous. <laughs> yeah, I know. What is, what is that? Is it a mini camera? Yeah. <laughs> oh, not even HD. 4K. It's like the size of the Oh, hi there. Oh, this thing is like unreal. Yeah. 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 Do you know it's my dad's birthday? Yes, I do. And I wish him many, many more. Oh, did you spill? Did you spill? I don't want to be able to be Dad, you watch a soccer game today? Oh, is it work? So France won? Well, nothing. Mm -hmm. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. Do you see the Arc de Triomphe? Like the, in front of it? It's the tri oh, Triomphe. It's Triomphe. Oh, no, I didn't. Yeah, whatever. Yeah. I'm scared, yeah. I'm like, why did you step on fire? Am I scared? No! No! Please, Dad. You're 200 pounds too heavy for that. England's probably. Well, it's a big place. Oh, it's France. That's the final. So, where do you want Croatia? So, they're all in Croatia. Where did you go? Iceland and oh, Norway, Finland, Sweden, and France. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. But if there were Winnipeg, it was fun. Lucy! Farmer, this is Farmer Frenzy. Uh, friendly. It gets worse, Ron. <laughs> <laughs> How can you tell what birthday it is? Lots of fire. Lots of fire. This is Fred. Well, well, well. Ain't you an astute looking group? <laughs> not I can persuade you. I don't think I can persuade you with any of my good thoughts. But anyhow, I think I'll give it a try. So, but I need help. I do need help. Uh, sometimes I'm not thinking as good as I should, so I need a little time. But, so I'm going to tell you some things in a couple of verses or so, and uh, but in the meantime, between the verses, I need you to do a little ditty. And it goes, do 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 some of you know that rule. So. <laughs> <laughs> Tin roof leaks, 
the chimney leaves. Is that stuff that you dug, Brady? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a mouse. It's a mouse problem. A mouse chawing on the pantry door. He's been at it for a month or more. When he gets through, he'll sure be sore. Because there ain't a darn thing in there. <laughs> <laughs> He humped his back, but he wouldn't kick. Something's cockeyed somewhere. <laughs> Hound dogs howling so forlorn. Laziest dog that ever was born. He's howling because he's sitting on a thorn. And he's just too tired to move over. <laughs> so grief and misery, pains and woes, debts and taxes, and so it goes. And now I'm getting a cold in my nose. And life gets tasteless, don't it? Ba 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 ba. <laughs> so I need a way to get out of here, so here we go. <laughs> We graduated, and this group over here, and we never knew that you were so talented. that we were in that we all lived in Vancouver till eight or nine years ago, and we decided to have a school reunion here, even though we all graduated in Winnipeg. A lot of people lived here, and we had about um, how many did we have? Uh, yeah, we, yeah, we, 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 we did. And they all came from everywhere, and we had a most wonderful. How many years? Was it 55? No, 207, I believe. No, but what, how many years was it? 55 years. 55. Yeah. Okay. And we had the most wonderful time. Long, long, long time. And we have become very good friends. We get together as often as we can. And um, Walt, I never knew he had this. Better know his, his uncle Fred. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've never seen this before, Doreen. You've probably seen it before, right? This, this, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Only after he's had a couple of glasses. Yeah. <laughs> never do it otherwise. Yeah, now coincidentally, Laura, uh, unbeknownst to all of us, and unbeknownst to them, is really good friends. She went to school with their niece, and so knows her family as well. So there's another connection. But Walt can make up a like a ditty of when we had our reunion there was someone with a rather different name, a strange last name, and in no time Walt made up this little <laughs> rhyme. And I, I mean he could just do it like that and it's hilarious. So I didn't know this was happening. No. <laughs> <laughs> Just for Ron, I'm back to me. Back to me. <laughs> Quiet, sedate. Well, we welcome everybody uh, to this auspicious occasion, especially those who came from distance. I thought there would only be uh, Laura and, her, and Rob and her family, but I know there's a lot of others from 
far, far away. So Sorry. welcome. Thank you for coming. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I didn't know that Ron knew so many people, but I guess by the time you uh, get to 85, it becomes natural. <laughs> I think most of you uh, know me, but those who don't, uh, I'm Ron's wife, sorry, Ron is my wife's second cousin's husband. <laughs> so if you can't figure that out, then Ron and I have no filial relationship. <laughs> so therefore I can say anything I want. <laughs> a couple of life lessons that Ron has learned through the years. He gave up a career in accordion business a long, long time ago. Good move, Ron. It was. Uh, listening to and playing the accordion shortens one's life. <laughs> he gave up climbing ladders to clean gutters and string Christmas trees uh, several years ago. Good move. That kind of activity shortens one's life. <laughs> Chafer beetles. <laughs> what can we say? You could try and prevail, but recognize that they have been around a lot longer than 85 years. <laughs> Somewhere on here. <laughs> right. Uh, a, good, a good move would be to forget about them, as they will win no matter what you know. Look at our lawn. Right. Yeah. <laughs> I won this year. Ron, Ron learned July. early in life that he had a gift as a natural and expert salesperson. He was so smooth in business that a customer did not realize they were being sold to until they looked down and saw that they had signed the contract. <laughs> current lesson, not quite mastered yet, is to stop accepting a new camera from Blair. <laughs> These new electronic marvels have so many features, it would take another 85 years to learn them all. <laughs> Think of the frustration reduction that would happen if you just said, no thanks, <laughs> keep the old one, leave it in auto, and just push, push the button. The button. Yeah. <laughs> Ron's best lesson through the years that he obviously learned at a very young age and continues to today is to put family and friends first in everything that he does. Thank you, Ron. So, looks like we have some cake. Eat as much as you want, Ron. <laughs> because studies have shown that the more birthday cake one has eaten, the longer they've lived. <laughs> Cheers and all the best. Raise a glass, I got a little speech. I, okay. to, I got to thank our family, <laughs> June, for all the work she's done putting this together, and Laura and Rob and the kids and Susan and everyone else. And Blair. Blair, and Blair, Lizzie. Blair, Blair, Lizzie. Blair, Lizzie. <laughs> all, the, all the family. All the family. Yeah. Yeah. And also, oh, this is a combined oh. birthday. It should be because June just had her birthday as well, oh, and our and our anniversary. We just had our 64th. We have lived and worked together for 64 years. Wow. Now, that's, that's an accomplishment. <laughs> <laughs> and you're no, still speaking. Yeah. <laughs> no, not to each other. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't live together before we got married. <laughs> but anyway, I, I don't know what I've done without the wonderful family I have, children and grandchildren. makes you a person so proud. And it gives you the inspiration to carry on when you figure it's not worth it. But anyway, I'm, I'm very, very happy to have everybody here. And I want to thank you all. And it's so nice to see so many Winnipeg people that had enough smarts to leave like we did. <laughs> <laughs> and I hope you had a good time. Oh, uh, we're happy. Uh, I don't know, but I thought it was really great. Thanks, Walt. I don't even remember that. You don't remember <laughs> Great old Lord Salford School. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. To you, happy birthday, dear Ron. Happy birthday to you.